Several news outlets are reporting on a new story that broke uh, just a few days ago on Friday, talking about how Microsoft had fired employees for organizing a vigil for Palestinians who lost their lives in Gaza. And many people are reporting on this because how dare Microsoft stop people from, from speaking their minds and how dare Microsoft uh, promote the death of Palestinians and many other such statements. The, the, news, the news articles are sort of in a weird, out-of-control spiral regarding the story right now. And all of them seem to be missing very core pieces of information regarding what actually happened happened so because this is what we tend to do let's here take a few moments and look at what actually is happening here so according to the ap microsoft fires employees who organized vigil for palestinians killed in gaza and they go on to talk about that a bit how they organized this vigil and they they held it uh on the campus at microsoft uh, uh i think during their lunch hour and these these individuals work on Azure, so part of the Azure cloud, and they are members of a group, an internal Microsoft group that uses internal Microsoft resources to organize the no Azure for apartheid, basically make sure Microsoft doesn't do business with Israel. That's the, the point of this, this little group. Now, there are two individuals who were fired. Now, uh, they say employees, which makes it sound like Microsoft is wholesale going around uh, firing anyone who supports Palestine, right? Or is uh, or is against Israel or something like that. And that's not really happening. It's two individuals. And they were both fired, it appears, for one of two reasons. The first is that they were boycotting Microsoft them themselves. So uh, one of the individuals, Hassam Nassar, uh, Hassa or sorry, Hassam Mabed, it was working on Azure, right? This is this is his uh, his Twitter account, and his Twitter account, by the way, on on X is just filled filled with hate. Like the amount of hate this man has for Jews is off the charts. It it, it looks like he spends. I don't know, every other hour just posting nonstop uh, hate for anything that's pro-Jewish or pro-Israel, just just off the charts. But what, what really is interesting here, and let me see if I've got this here, um, here it is, is this particular individual, uh, Mabed, Hassam Nassar Mabed, who just got fired, over the last several months has been boycotting and protesting and encouraging other companies to stop doing business with Microsoft. <laughs> so uh, this was back on September 15th. Uh, this Microsoft employee was uh, was on the at the University of Washington campus leading a protest um, where and he was literally leading and organizing the protest to it could have companies divest and stop doing business with Microsoft, the company that pays him, the company that he works for. Hypothetical here. Let's say you work for Pepsi, right? You, you work for Pepsi that makes Pepsi and Diet Pepsi and all that. And you organize protests to get people to not only stop drinking Pepsi, but to get businesses from to stop doing business with Pepsi. Now, how long do you think you still are employed by Pepsi if you are the ringleader of getting people to boycott the very company you work for? Not very long, right? And so both of these individuals are along those lines. Um, you can... <laughs> If you just look up, uh, look on X to see out their history, it's really off the charts. And the other potential reason why Microsoft might have wanted to be firing this guy is there had been an outpouring of people calling for him to be fired from within Microsoft and outside of Microsoft for quite some time. Um, he posted regularly under the handle. Let me see if I have his handle here. Uh, I think it's his handle is America KKK a America with KKK in it. He's got an Instagram account on there. Um, do I have it here? I might have it somewhere. Uh, yes, America KKKA. And he posts regularly about how, you know, you know, about the burning of the American flag is good. And America, let's see if I've got it here. 
Uh, this flag, and this is a post that this guy put up there. So this is these are his words. This flag, the American flag, represents death, murder, destruction, pain. This flag represents genocide, mass murder, mass graves. This flag represents beheaded, it just goes on and on. This flag represents invasion, occupation, etc. This flag represents slavery. This flag represents one of the most evil flags of modern times. This is the Nazi flag of the 21st century. This flag is the worst of white European neocolonialism. Burning this flag is right, just, and moral. Revere, uh, long live flag burners everywhere. Death to the U.S. empire and its killing machine, free Palestine from the river to the sea. He goes on and on to, to preach about how, well, basically, uh, Jews need to die, Israel needs to be destroyed, and America should be destroyed, and companies should stop doing business with Microsoft, the company he works for. <laughs> Of course he's gonna get fired oh my word he's gonna get fired and it's not because he has opinions that are political he's calling for the death and destruction of the company he works for the country the company he works for exists in and other countries that the company he works for also exists in and does business with there's uh, yeah he's gonna get fired he was not fired for holding a vigil for someone that's not why he was fired. Yet people are going to go and try and spread that narrative as if it were had some semblance of truth. It's absolutely insane. So, yes, Microsoft fired two people. It seems pretty gosh darn reasonable that they would get fired. Oh, oh my word. I don't <laughs> I don't know how they met. The fact that they managed to stay working for Microsoft as long as they did. That's a weird story. What? Why, why, why would Microsoft say, oh, you're calling for the death of the company you work for, the country we, we exist in, other countries and all Jews? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep you working for us for a while. You stay working on Azure. It's like, what? No, 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 no. You just, as an HR department, you just cut that right there. Zip, that's done. You're fired. Like, you just, you just can't do that. <laughs> Washington State, where this guy was working is an at-will employment state, meaning Microsoft can fire him for any reason at any time whatsoever. There's no, like, he doesn't have to get any sort of contract dispute. There doesn't have to go into some sort of weird, like, you know, like notification thing where he's got 90 days to change his performance. No, 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 he doesn't have to do any of that. Microsoft can just fire him because they don't like him. They can, they can literally smell bad. And so Microsoft fires him. <laughs> it's an at-will employment state, man. Uh, so there's, there's really not an issue there with that. Um, but yet people are going to ramp this up and use this as some sort of Microsoft is evil thing. The crazy thing here is I'm the one coming to the defense of Microsoft here. I don't know if any of you noticed this, but man, have I criticized Microsoft earlier this year. I posted a series of stories talking about how Microsoft promotes giving sex change, sex changes to three year olds and doing all manner of twisted sick stuff. And uh, that's, that's all real. Microsoft is not all squeaky clean and happy pants here, but this, of course they should fire this guy. Of course they should fire these two dudes. <laughs> They had it coming. They had to know they were going to get fired. They knew as they were going that they were they were obviously trying to get fired. That was part of their plan. Now they're going to try and spin it into press because they got fired. That was the whole point point of all of this. It's ridiculous. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the whole gosh darned inner tubes, I do declare end broadcast.